Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 16, titled Blind SQL Injection Without a Band Data Exfiltration. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a blind SQL injection vulnerability. The application uses a tracking cookie for analytics and performs a SQL query containing the value of the submitted cookie. So our vulnerable parameter, is the tracking cookie. The SQL query is executed asynchronously and has no effect on the application's response. However, you can trigger an out-of-band interaction with an external domain, so similar to the previous exercise. The database contains a different table called users with columns called username and password. You need to exploit the blind SQL injection vulnerability to find out the password of the administrator user. To solve the lab, log in as the administrator user. So we've got two end goals over here. One is exploit SQLI to output the password of the administrator user and in this case we're given the column names which is username and password and the table name which is users and the second thing is to log in as the administrator user now something useful to make note of is this over here to prevent the academy platform from being used to attack third parties our firewall blocks interaction between the labs and arbitrary external systems to solve the lab, you must use Burp Collaborator's default public server, burpcollaborator.net. Okay, so that means that you can't use your own external system in order to complete this exercise. You do have to use Burp Collaborator, which is only available in the professional version of Burp. So let's open that up. And while that opens up, let's access the lab. Hit OK. Hit next. Let's close that and start burp. Let's move that over here. Go to our exercise. Configure Firefox to send requests to burp, which we'll do using Foxy Proxy. Now when I click home, it should send it to burp over here. So you could see that in the proxy. Let's send that to repeater because we might be doing multiple requests and turn the intercept to be off. And we're back in repeater and hit send. And this should give you the home page, the source code of the home page. All right, let's create our analysis section. Now, in the previous exercise, we figured out that this is an Oracle database and we were able to do a DNS lookup. And to do that, we had to click on Burp, select Burp Collaborator, which I'm noticing right now I've opened up the community edition. So we're going to have to close that because the community edition does not have collaborator installed on it. So let's open up Burp Professional. Again, hit next, start Burp. And load the home request. Let me see that again in proxy, send it to repeater. Go back to proxy, turn intercept off, and then in repeater, hit send to confirm that everything is working correctly, and it is. All right, since we're using the professional edition, we should see Burp Collaborator Client. Let's click on that. And what we're going to do is instead of doing a DNS lookup, which we did in the previous exercise, we're going to exfiltrate data by outputting the administrator's password and getting it to output on Burp Collaborator over here. So I'm going to minimize that for now and go back to the exercise and look at the hints section. Click on the SQL injection cheat sheet. Go down to DNS lookups. So this is what we did in the previous exercise, which only performed the DNS lookup, which confirmed that we have an out-of-band SQL injection. Now we want to take it a step further and output data from the database. And we do that using this query over here. And again, we know it's Oracle based on the previous exercise. So let's copy that over here. 
and change up the payload so that it fits the SQL query in the back end. Put that in brackets and comment out the rest of the query. Now we need a Burp Collaborator client domain over here. So we'll do that by clicking on Copy to Clipboard. And let's put that over here and then add that in our payload. Next, we need to enter our query over here. So since we're trying to output the administrator's password, we're going to say select the password from the users table where the username is equal to administrator and that should be in quotes. Let's copy that. Put collaborator right over here and make it small. And go back to repeater. Our vulnerable parameter is the tracking ID. So let's paste it over here. Do control U to URL encode it. Hit send. And check if a DNS lookup was performed by clicking on poll now. And here we go. We see that a DNS lookup was performed and it was from this IP address over here, which should be the IP address of the application. And you'll notice over here, it added the password of the administrator to the uh, lookup. And that was done because we put over here the, you know, select the password from the users table where username is equal to administrator. And so it added it over here. So let's copy that. That should be the password of the administrator and put it in our notes. And let's see if we could log in using that password. So click on my account for username, use administrator. And then the password is the password that we found and hit login. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe and share button so that it reaches a wider audience. Also comment below what you learned and what you would like to see more of in the future. Thank you and see you in the next video.